when I played music, my my uh, favorite, uh, my idols were guys like, uh, you know, as a kid, it was Pink Floyd, the band, you know, and The Who, and and uh, Led Zeppelin. You remember? You remember those bands, right? Everybody had an idol, right? And when I was a kid, I thought like, you know, like the Ramones. I'd look at the Ramones and say, my God, I fucking love the Ramones. Oh, God, I can't love them. Right? And, and, and what it did for you, it told the story of our youth. It told the story about who we were as Americans, who we were as, as a culture, right? And in music, it spoke to me, right? And now I have different idols, right? Because I'm doing something different, right? And every day I wake up and I do news, right? I, do, I, I don't know what I do. I don't know why I do this. I, I don't know why. It's just I'm, I'm driven, right? And I'm, I'm like a, a heat-seeking missile trying to get to the truth. Right? I say, I wake up every day and I say, what is truthful about a story? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, there's nothing most of the time original about what I do. I just kind of, I riff on the news. I look at the news and I offer you an opinion on the news. I riff on the news, right? And that is something that is, is uh, omnipotent, is, is potent for a free society, a free democracy, a free, uh, uh, open and free people, Right? That's what keeps it going. That's the, the essence of the First Amendment, right? So there is a, a, a problem. We're having a problem in this world right now, if you haven't noticed. And the prosecution of Julian Assange is not forgotten. Right? Let's not forget about Julian Assange and what is happening and what he revealed. So there is a new kind of tyranny, uh, uh, Zero Hedge reporting, a new kind of tyranny, the global, because he's one of my idols. Billy, uh, there's no... I mean, Julian Assange to me is is Elvis to my father's age, or he's he's the Ramones when I was a kid. Right? He spoke truth to power in a way that was unprecedented, and he's being prosecuted and treated and vilified unprecedentedly. That's who Julian Assange is. So a new kind of tyranny, the global state's war on those who speak truth to power. Uh, so what happens, what happens to Julian Assange and to Chelsea Manning is meant to intimidate us, to frighten us into silence. By defending Julian Assange, we defend our most sacred rights. Speak up now or wake up one morning to the silence of a new kind of tyranny. The choice is ours. That's uh, John Pilger, a... Uh, journalist said that. All of us are, are in danger by this. All of us. Our free speech is in danger. It's 1984. If you read the book, George Orwell outlined it, The Thought Police or Animal Farm, where rights are systematically removed. And the way to do that is through thought control, thought police, free speech, to, to rein in free thought, free speech, right? that sort of thing. In an age of prosecutions for thought crimes, pre-crime deterrence programs, and government agencies that operate like organized crime syndicates, there is a new kind of tyranny being imposed on those who dare to expose crime of the deep state, whose reach has gone global. So it's a global reach. Great, great analogy right there, the boot coming down on top of us. The deep state has embarked on a ruthless, take-no-prisoners, all-out assault on truth-tellers. Now, I would just beg to differ on the term, the deep state, because when we are talking about the deep state, a lot of people get confused and say, oh, that's the uh, James Comey. That's the, the, the spooks inside of the uh, FBI and the CIA. Uh, that's the deep state, right? Oh, that's part of the deep state. But... In, in all aspects of existence, if they're not funded, if they weren't funded by dirty money, whether it's the you know illegal banking system, the fiat system of printing money and never paying it back system, or uh, doing the dirty work of the corporations and getting kickbacks, having a revolving door of, will I'll do you a favor now in government and then when I leave government, I'll come work for you and you'll pay me $10 million. And then maybe someday my kid will go back into government. And you'll have this revolving door of corporation, government, corporation, right? So that's really 
the deep state as defined. Right? It's not that. It's not that. Uh, it's not that clear that to call uh, Comey and McCabe and those guys just the spooks inside of these organizations, the deep state is is actually incorrect. Look into the banks. That's where you find the deep state. Activists, journalists, and whistleblowers alike are being terrorized, traumatized, tortured, and subject to fear-induced, mind-altering, soul-destroying, smash-your-face-in tactics employed by superpowers that be. That's what it is, right? Q and a, a, a quantitative easing where the government is, is, is lied to. The politicians, they're not lied to. They're paid to create these monetary policies, right? And then give the corporations all of the money with the theory that the provenly false theory of trickle-down economics, where that money will then hit the real economy and never does, is the essence of uh, who the who the real deep state is, right? That's the power, that's the power structure that we're we're lied into believing is real. So take Julian Assange, for example. Assange, the founder of WikiLeaks, a website that published secret information, news leaks, and classified media from anonymous sources, was arrested in April 11, 2019, on charges of helping U.S. Army intelligence uh, analyst Chelsea Manning access leak uh, and leak more than 700,000 classified military documents that portrayed the U.S. government and its military as reckless, irresponsible, and responsible for thousands of civilian deaths including among the uh, leaked Manning materials were the collateral murder videos that we saw, the Afghan war logs, the Iraq, right? So the collateral murder video that was leaked, this is Chelsea Manning leaking it at, to, to the publisher, Julian Assange. Now, Manning knew the consequences of leaking that, in, in, which was 35 years in military prison, and she has beat that by getting a pardon by Barack Obama, but is now prosecuted again for not turning over, not turning over Julian Assange or making up lies about Julian Assange that would put Julian Assange in jail for 175 years. That's why she's being prosecuted. Uh, so the murder collateral video, if you haven't seen that, it's just devastating where U.S. Uh, gunships fly over Iraq and they're just systematically gunning down people. In this case, it was a couple of journalists, people clearly that were not shooting, were not armed. Uh, so that's what, that's what Assange has, has revealed and what he's being held you know, in jail for is something that is unrelated, uh, uh, a jumping bail. He should have been out of jail already and released on his own reconnaissance. Instead... He's being held so that he can be extradited here to the United States to face 16 out of 17 frivolous charges that would end journalism as we know it. And literally end journalism as we know it. In 20 years of work with victims of war, violence, and political prosecution, I have never seen a group of democratic states gang up to deliberately isolate, demonize, and abuse a single individual for such a long time and with so little, re little regard for human dignity in any rule of law, declared Nels Melzer, the UN Special Rapporteur on Torture. The UN guy that went there and talked to Assange said that. It's not, that, it's not just Assange who is being made to suffer. Manning, right, Manning is also in jail, right? What else does it say? So this is interesting. It doesn't matter whether you think Assange is a journalist or whether WikiLeaks is a news organization. The theory that emanates the indictment, indictment targets the very, the indictment targets the very essence of journalistic activity. Right? That's, what, that's, that's what I'm doing right now. It's journalism. I'm giving you facts, and then I'm sp I'm 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 riffing with my opinion, right? I'm strumming the chord, which is the, you know, for a guitar analogy, I'm strumming the news, and then I'm riffing, 
giving you my opinion, my, my flavor. Right? And what Assange, the case of Julian Assange essentially does is it makes it illegal. It, it would make it illegal right, to do that. Now, there is censorship beyond already in place. Right? I'm a little person, so I could still, I could still flap my lips for a while before somebody shuts me down. But as you grow, as you saw with, for example, uh, Mr. Infowars, I, you may not like uh, Alex Jones, but certainly you have to respect his right to flap his lips and tell truth as he sees it. Uh, so that's what Julian Assange is. And I don't, again, I, I don't see how <clears throat> people today, um, you know, maybe the 20% Trump supporters uh, agree that somehow Julian Assange has been vilified to be the enemy rather than look at what Julian Assange re revealed the democratic spin machine and the now the clearly the oligarchy uh, under the direction of Trump is spinning it to look at the look at it as if he's a traitor or some sort of villain for revealing what he revealed Julian Assange uh, so there is no left or right anymore it really is a an oligarchy uh, oligarchical class of people billionaire class that is causing, that is is stifling uh, our man Julian Assange in England, and maybe killing him, may, drugging him, whatever they're doing to him. He's not the same guy anymore, right? and that's the that's the uh, you know ultimately the consequences of of uh, shutting down journalistic expression, taking away the First Amendment rights, creating a police state, a a tyranny. Uh, 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 a, a state where we are not, we're not citizens anymore. We're subjects. We're subjects of an empire where we have to bow our head like to the king to, and, 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 and live in quiet desperation and silence as the leaders, the tyrants, use our name and smear our name for profit. That's really what's going on. Marcus Conte reporting.